Hey there, welcome to Cole's Cozy Corner, a little space where I take a look at some cozy little games that I feel are perfect for a lazy weekend morning with sunshine coming through your window and that pair perfectly with your choice of tea. Minami Lane is a cozy town management simulator. It focuses on an ever-expanding street. It features a story mode that consists of five missions and comes in at about two to three hours in length. It also features an endless mode for you to continue your community adventures for as long as you like. Minami Lane is a game about restoring happiness and bringing the community that lives on the titular Minami Lane together. You are brought in on this journey by a tanuki who is keeping an eye on the street and wants to help make the wishes of the residents come true, all while improving their lives here. The five missions in the story mode will give you a different main and optional objective to complete for each. To reach these conditions, you will have to properly manage the street and find a way to satisfy both the old and young demographics that reside there. There is a system for beauty that builds through the parks, onsens, and upgrades to buildings. This stat will improve the happiness of your residents, but will have other effects such as bringing cats to cozy up on your street. The most important way for you to build the happiness of the residents of Minami Lane is to build and manage shops. The shops come in several varieties, such as the starter ramen shop, to bigger things like karaoke bars. You will have to customize the recipes and product selections for these shops to appeal to either young or old demographics. I typically ended up making two of each building and gearing each towards one of the demographics. Trying to satisfy both ends in one shop just leads to no one being as happy as they could be. I don't know if that's a lesson we should be applying to life in general, but it is what it is. Finding out what each group likes is part of the fun of the game. But getting an upgrade to have your tanuki friend keep track of what the shop visitors are saying is a lifesaver. It will really take a whole step away for you to need to manage and just make maintaining the happiness overall a lot easier. The game has adjustable speeds for each day, which is great because you might want a day to fly by if your only goal is to get money for the next, but on the other hand, you might want to slow it down or pause the day if you have one of the other collectibles appear. That's an especially good idea for the bikers as they have the shortest time on screen of any of the optional interactables. I think if you like management sims, you'll love this game. The game has such a pleasant art style and has gameplay customizable to your tastes. Playing on 3x speed can get a little hectic late game, but playing it at normal speed or even 2x speed can be a very relaxing experience. If you like what you see, why not head on down to Minami Lane and pick this game up for five bucks? Well worth the price, and leaves you with a little bit of extra pocket change to pick up a nice cup of boba tea, or maybe a nice bowl of ramen. Or, as always, you can stay home, kick back, relax, and enjoy a morning beverage of your choice. All while you have a nice, cozy time visiting your friends on Minami Lane.